Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday, November 14th, midway through November, almost uh, six weeks till Christmas. Wow, crazy. I always say this at this time of the year. A um, few things to go over today. I guess the first thing we'll go over is FTX. Uh, we got clipped. We have an account at FTX pricing that money at zero. Uh, I was personally conned by Sam Bankman Freed, who I thought was legit. Um, but in retrospect, as things are always, you know, when you're playing uh, Harry Hindsight or Monday Morning Quarterback, perhaps we should have been skeptical about a hedge fund run by a 28-year-old girl from MIT who's good at math, uh, clearly not good at anything else um, and a kid who was basically an arbitrage specialist amassing 32 billion and then 16 billion and then zero um, at the age of 30 the lack of wisdom there was always going to be a problem I guess I mean don't get me wrong I was fooled um, I have an account at FTX International. Uh, that money is priced at zero. Doesn't really, not really going to affect me, uh, except for just ego-wise. It stings a bit that I got duped. I feel like it reminds me of being duped by Lance Armstrong, right? I was one of those fucking idiots who read his book, It's Not About the Bike. For those of you who haven't read it, it's a book saying like, how much he loved his wife, how much of a family man he was, and like this is all about the children, and blah, blah, blah. Very similar to Sam Bankman Freed, who was like, I'm going to give all my money away. Um, I fell for Lance, and I've sworn off the Tour de France ever since, even though I'm a, a very passionate biker. Um, and I fell for SBF. I haven't sworn off crypto, uh, but certainly jaded a bit and taken a step back I obviously I own crypto still I own some ethereum um, I own some matic uh, I should probably own some DX DY uh, DY DX those of you on this call probably don't even know what this is this is um, a decentralized exchange and I think what you're gonna see in the crypto world is a move towards using decentralized exchanges obviously um, I don't want to go into some sort of like ABCs and what a centralized exchange is versus decentralized. But crypto is all about decentralization. If you're a real crypto Jedi, you would only use a decentralized exchange, something like Uniswap or DYDX. Um, obviously, FTX is centralized. Binance is centralized. JP Morgan is a centralized place to do business it's run and owned by Jamie Dimon who kind of makes decisions unilaterally with a group of like nine other Muppets who uh, sit around the table pretend they know what they're doing um, but anyway for those of you who are interested have a look DYDX is a decentralized exchange you can see it's popped a bit already um, you know kind of up 40% since this whole FTX disaster. Uh, that said, let's have a quick look at FX. Um, start with rates. Obviously, the CPI whaled this thing uh, down to 380. And we're back at 388. Um, we got PPI this week. Nothing really today. We got Brainerd speaking late in the uh, European afternoon uh, but we're watching rates right we were always talking about 408 as the bull bear um, obviously we're well through that and so we're bearish the dollars come a long way though so now we're looking for consolidation today let's look at dollar Swiss first this thing went like five Sigma right we talked last week about how dollar Swiss doesn't like it above parity we did visit 101.44. That seems a long time ago. Um, but what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days ago. Um, 
yesterday we touched 94 the figure um, bang right that is move For those of us who get paid in dollars, which is me, um, people I run money for inevitably always pay in dollars, uh, and so I'm used to hedging. You just gotta. This is just the life. If you're if you're a U.S. dollar based guy and you live in Switzerland, so I'm okay on that. I wouldn't say I'm okay speculatively. I certainly didn't ride this uh, Titanic wave all the way down. But, uh, wow, look at that. Amazing. Dollar Yen, similar story. Um, you know, this Dollar Yen is driven by rates. And if we are going to turn, if the Fed is going to pivot, Dollar Yen is going to head down to 127 again. So um, let's see how PPI goes. Let's see how the price of commodities go. I guess copper is lower today. Um, I just read that on some of my feeds. Um, but consolidation today, like now this is gone enough. You can see this is, these Bollingers are at two and a half sigma. This thing has gone three standard deviations. Dollar Swiss went four standard deviations. So there is time for some consolidation. Dollar Swiss certainly is not going to go to 90 cents um, right away. So uh, speaking of Dollar Swiss, this is a buy, right? This, um, I guess if we visited 97.30, it's even more of a buy. We put a double bottom down there, but this is a buy. Uh, you play, play dollar Swiss from the long side today. Euro, is fairly similar. Uh, interestingly enough, the 200 days at 104.34. Um, obviously, we always have the 200 day up because this is what all of the big systems look at. This is sort of your thou shalt not kill commandment. Um, for trading, where are we in the 200 day? Below the 200 day is bearish, above the 200 day is bullish. Uh, again, I'm not going into the ABCs of trading here, but um, the first time up against this, especially on this stretchy type moves, this is a sell. Cable is also a sell um, in front of 120. We didn't quite get there, uh, 1850, but. If you're going to buy dollars against anything, you want to buy it against sterling, right? This is the one, you know, UK has their, their house leased in order. I know everyone is going to scream, Ryan, Ryan, the EU, the European Union is fucked. Italy, Spain, Portugal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. They've been fucked since the very beginning. But actually, in, at the end of the day, um, because of its size, the EU... Um, is number one too big to fail and number two um often a safe haven right people um if you had to choose between euro and sterling you know all you got to do is look at the euro sterling chart um what have people done here's the weekly people have chose euro over sterling okay this was lizzie truss 9283 um but anyway <coughs> excuse me uh if you're dying to buy dollars, uh, go ahead and sell some sterling. Kiwi, uh, boy, did we get this one wrong. I think we wrote on Twitter um, after this day here. Oh, no, no, after this day here. No, it was this day, sorry. This big tail day here, which was the FOMC minutes, we were like, oh, Kiwi's going to see 55 in the next week. Uh, turns out Kiwi's at 60.97, so that's close to 600 points. It's close to 10% wrong. Um, for those of you counting, uh, 10 being 10% wrong in FX is, I don't know, kind of like letting an elephant step on your neck. Um, not that great. So, pff, fuck that up. Um, Dollar CAD the same. God, we were so bearish, Dollar CAD, but the FOMC minutes fucked us up. Where's Dollar CAD? Let's look at this. Man. That 135 level didn't work that well because we went back to 135.50 twice and then we snuck through one to a 135.70 before our CPI. But, um, 
very bearish dollar CAD waiting for that 135 level did not was not clean did not work great um, singing sad songs about dollar CAD uh, let's go back to uh, Kate, uh, Euro Sterling here real quick this is an interesting level here um, even though I just said choose to sell Euro over Sterling what happens if they both start consolidating and they're basically equal from here on out this level even though it doesn't make sense is worth watching right 86.91 so just put it on your pad right we're not we're not going to see it today obviously um, it's 80 it's a percent away euro sterling's not going to do anything today unless there's news um, but this will be a very interesting level uh, if the market maybe gets caught sterling or if I don't know a meteor hits uh, Germany or something there's your there's your level let's go to dollars are my South African friends are laughing um, this thing's been on a bit of a tear again this is risk on combined with lower dollar dollars are is quite a good horse but it's no better horse than dollar Swiss or dollar yen um, and the liquidity sucks so for us we're just waiting for places to sell uh, ZAR um, as beautiful of a country as it is as amazing uh, as the people are there um, their economies in tatters uh, their cities are menaced with problems um, typical emerging market story I guess uh, we can just leave it at that not much to go on here with the rest of this stuff I won't bore everybody um, let's take a look at gold just because gold and dollar Swiss same exact chart dollar Swiss a little bit more extreme um, and the 200 day in gold is 1806 so first time up to 1806 you sell but gold is a buy if the dollar has turned um, especially if the dollar has turned and we're in like one of these like geopolitical you know rats nests which effectively we are so you know if you miss gold you want to buy it on a dip down to 17 and a quarter uh, if you own gold I mean you could carefully trade this uh, just on a consolidation basis um, but same chart as dollar Swiss so today it's really a consolidation looking for a consolidation day um, no really strong new entries so could be just a day with the guns down for us uh, watching reading getting ready for later in the week We've got Aussie minutes uh, tonight or whatever in the morning in Europe and we have sterling CPI on Wednesday that's kind of interesting I think we have Canadian CPI also uh, later in the week should be interesting but monetary policy minutes in Oz tonight uh, so if you have an Aussie position just be aware all right I've said enough I will catch you guys tomorrow good luck out there make some dough cheers <laughs>